I was Muslim, and uh, as usual, we went to the mosque every Friday, and uh, you know we have to pray five times a day, and during Ramadan, then we 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 fasted, and uh, we enjoyed. Uh, Ramadan and we enjoy the, 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 the prayer after six o'clock in the afternoon in the evening uh, with the kids having fun we have to go to the mosque we go to the mosque and uh, when we eat remember don't eat pork and do not eat pork it is haram to eat pork I believe in Allah uh, I know Allah is God that's all I know and Muhammad is the prophet that's all I know but there's no real relationship there's no communication be between me and the person called Allah. Uh, there's no relationship. It just, I have religion. I was Muslim. That's it. One time when I was still Muslim and I was invited to help a Christian studio recording to help them to play some guitar music for Christmas. So I went to the studio and they started with prayer and they never asked me what do I believe, what did I believe. They never judged me, they never asked me, they just make good friends. This, this man, Herman, he became my good friend, him and his wife. One time after recording session, he invited me for dinner. So I went to his house, after dinner he said, you want to stay here a little bit longer? Because we, you, you are going to continue until midnight or until in the morning tonight finishing the project recording. If you want to stay here a little bit longer, we're going to have a prayer meeting about one hour. So, so sure, why not? He's my good friend. He's my good friend. So I have that open mind. I stayed there. and So they have a prayer meeting. They read the Bible. They share a little bit and they started praying and they prayed for me. It was something different. Something that never happened. In Muslim families, friends pray for friends. It was amazing. In the middle of the prayer, he said that, Rene, do you have something like charm or idols? I was very sure. I said, How did you know? The Holy Spirit told me. What do you mean, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit is Rahul Kudus. Roh Kudus is in, in Arabic. Rahul Kudus. The Holy Spirit spoke to me. There's no such a thing. The Holy Spirit spoke to you, speaks to you in Muslim religion. But he said, Holy Spirit told me that you have charms and idols. I, yes, I have. Do you want to be free from that stuff? What, what do you get out of that stuff? So, well, I have power. I can stab myself stab with a knife. And it will not hurt me. I will not be bleeding. Wow, do you know that dark, dark power? Do you want to be free from that? I said, I want to, but I'm afraid with my teacher. So, so, well, if you want to, give it to me and I will burn it. I said, I was very scared. The teacher gonna get mad at me and I will be in trouble. And the power in those stuff gonna attack me. And this guy said very firmly, with the name of Jesus, you will be free and you will be set free indeed. Wow. I was trembling. I was trembling when, when I gave that stuff to him. And little knife. So uh, we prayed together and he burned those stuff. The name of Jesus is really something, you know, that I have never experienced it before. So we continue our friendship, me and this guy and his wife, day by day, I started growing. I started having that interest to join him, to be his good friends. He was really my first uh, mentor about Jesus. Now I started attending a Calvary Baptist Church uh, in my city. Uh, all the atmosphere of of course it, it was very different very different one time we have a revival program we have a the pastor of the local church preach it was simple passage from john 3 16 
for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, for whosoever believes in Him should not perish, perish but have eternal life. But uh, after the preaching, He gave invitation. So I just walk forward. I feel I feel like I'm a Christian now. I came forward. Still, it was not really something big that I've been born again. Not yet. But I feel like I'm a Christian. I've received Christ. But uh, there's not uh, not the climax yet. I'm a musician since I was little. I made good money recording and I played on TV every month. Once a month I have my own show, one hour show. In fact, I like, like a talk show, guitar talk show. Because that okay money I make, my friends are all just like ants come to sugar. <laughs> I was sweet because of money. I enjoy life. I had my own music school, I had my own building, I had my cars, I had my own house. Then I I and it came into a miserable life because of the fame. Because of the friends I had. Because of the money I had. Yeah, you know, there is a big loneliness in me. Huge loneliness. I don't know where I was going. I had all things I wanted to have, you name it, and I was only 20, 22 years old. And I started searching something seriously. Something is missing in my life. Okay. Until one time, because I was so disorganized, enjoying life so much, then my business started going down. Started going down. Then I, knew, I realized that I need something bigger than what I have. And then I started attending church regularly. Okay. Still, it doesn't mean that I've been born again. I know that I received Christ a long time ago, but I'm not so sure whether I have been born again or not. Now here, something was happening to me. I got cirrhosis of the liver. It is not because I drank. I never drink. I, well, I drink beer, maybe only <laughs> one cup a month. It will not you get cirrhosis of the liver, but I get cirrhosis of the liver of because of my hepatitis B. This is the way God's calling me. Rene, you have received me several times, but are you really born again? It was it seems like it was what the Holy Spirit said to me. Now, and the doctor said that you only have five months left to live. That is the thing that telling me, Rene, be ready. Your life is coming to an end. No, I cried. I believe that was the, my turning point. I said, Lord, if you want to take me, take me anytime I am ready. Because I know I have you. That is a big sign that I was born again. I know I have you. But if you want to use me, I need my health back, I said. And if, if I get my health back, my music is yours for the rest of my life. That is my commitment. That night, I went to sleep at 1 o'clock, which is unusual. My tummy is big because of cirrhosis of the liver. So painful, I, I, I had to scream every single night. I said, Lord, take care of my, my child. And I cried every single night. My mom said, Rene, you can do it. You can do it. Look at your son. He needs you. Boy, there was the woman from God. And then, that night I went to sleep at 1 o'clock and I woke up, I heard a voice saying, Rene, you are being healed. You are being healed, not you are healed. That means there's a process will happen. In the morning, we were supposed to go to the hospital. My wife asked me, how do you feel? I, said, I feel better. So we went to the hospital, get out from the hospital. She asked me again, how do you feel? I feel better. I said, what did they give you? I said, they give me nothing. They just usual. They check my eyes, check my tongue, and draw some blood and weigh me, and uh, check some my, my my blood pressure. They didn't give me nothing. And I told my wife, I heard a voice saying, "Renee, you are being healed." And she said that it is probably Holy Spirit. Claim it. Claim it. You, you, you'll be healed. So I started claiming it. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm ready to serve the Lord. I'm ready to serve the Lord. 
That is my turning point. That is my turning point. The doctor said I only have five months left to live. And it was 11 years ago. Here I am. I'm healthy. Still skinny. <laughs> I'm still skinny, but I'm healthy. When I was Muslim, I never think about how to live good life. As long as you don't trouble people, you are okay, you are okay. But in Christians, it's so different. Show the love of Christ. Love others, love others, love others. Whereas in Muslim, I have been taught about bitterness. You take my money, I take your money. You kill my father, I kill your father. You kill my brother, I kill your, your brother. Now in Christians, we are not allowed to hate people. That is something big for me to see the difference. That uh, we are softened, our hearts softened because of that. There is uh, something uh, interesting for me. And I love that kind of understanding. And what the Bible teach us is love others. Jesus said that it is normal if you hate your enemy. But I tell you now, love your enemy and bless them who persecute you. See the big difference? I'm blessed by reading that verse, which is in Muslim, no, we are not taught that way. In Christian, there's assurance. It is so sure. Jesus said, I'm the truth and the way and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. I think that is the clearest statement that compared to all religions of the world, that the Prophet saying that. And Quran um, 19, Maryam 19 says that, only Nabi Isa goes straight to heaven because he's holy. And Muslim believe that the judge at the end of this earth is Isa. So why should we doubt about it? That is a strong statement that make me, oh yes, I'm on the right path.